So we're talking about levels of proof. Because what happens is in the law there are different levels of proof and different levels of a burden of proof. What do I mean? So you've heard of Lady Justice, you've seen the scales of justice where, where there's a balance on each side. The three most common levels of proof are what's called a preponderance of the evidence, clear and convincing evidence, and beyond a reasonable doubt. Those are the three most common levels of proof. A preponderance of the evidence is that Lady Justice, those scales of justice. And when, when you're talking about a case where the burden of proof is by a preponderance, you have to prove by a preponderance of the evidence, and that's the normal civil standard, meaning for most disputes, that's what it is. What that means is that ever so slightly more, you have one feather more on one side than the other. And whichever side has a feather more proof, if you're persuaded, if the jury is persuaded or the judge is persuaded by just a feather more than the other side, the side with the feather wins. And so the scales of justice tip. They tip one direction or the other, and whoever tips, that's the side that wins. That's called a preponderance, and it's, it's just a feather. It's ever so slight. Then you have something called clear and convincing evidence. That's a much higher standard. And it really is clear and convincing. You, it's highly probable. You have to be convinced. It's not just, ah, I think it's a little more one way than the other. No, it's, I, I, I think it's really this way. And so it's a much, much higher standard that we're talking about when we're talking about clear and convincing evidence. And there are certain claims that require clear and convincing evidence. And if you're bringing one of those claims against somebody else, you need to know that your burden of proof is tougher because your proof has to be better in order to win in one of those cases. The highest burden of proof in the law is what's called uh, beyond a reasonable doubt, and that's what you have in most criminal cases, well, really all criminal cases. In order to find someone guilty of having committed a crime, you have to show that they are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. It's a very high standard. That's the kind of, of you're convinced at the level that, you know what, if this were your brother or your sister, it, it may pain you to admit it, but you know what, yeah, you, you think they did it. It's, it's someone that, that you don't want to be guilty, but you really think they are because the level of proof is so high that we're, you're just convinced beyond a reasonable doubt. You don't have doubts. You don't have reasonable doubts anymore. You are pretty convinced that they did this thing. And so that's called beyond a reasonable doubt. Those are the levels of proof. And it's important for your case, whatever kind of case it is, that you understand what level of proof is required for either your claims or your defenses, whichever side of the table that you're on for your, for, for your dispute or your issue. Levels of proof.